Hello beautiful ladies, thanks for coming back to my channel and checking it out. Today's tutorial is on how I got this look. Keep watching if you're interested. Hello ladies, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today's tutorial is going to be on how I curl my hair. That was actually a um, request from a couple people, which I was surprised because, I don't know, I don't, I've never considered myself one to be good at hair. Um, I just like big hair and I know a lot of people knock me for that and you know they're more into like the flat look and I'm like I need my volume. <laughs> um, so anyways I will get this up for you guys. I'm going to talk about a couple products. Um, these are the two sprays that I use. This one is called Double Take Dry Finish Texture Spray. This is like five or six bucks at Target. Um, you can find it at Ulta, you know basically those types of stores. And it's um, Not Your Mother's is the brand. They have one that's like Not Your Mother's Beachways. And it, um, anyways, just stuff like that. This I love it because it's the texture spray. So um, I know hair curls better when it's got that like kind of coarse texture. Um, it keeps it kind of like tighter. I feel like when my hair is soft, the curls fall out. So that's what I like about this one. And then this is the hairspray I use to um, just kind of... Toss it and get the hold, I guess. it's This is, again, it's like three bucks or maybe four tops at Target again. Um, it's the Herbal, e Herbal Essence, and this is the Body Envy Volumizing Hairspray. And then I do have my Very Sexy. Um, my bangs are really long. I don't really keep them short anymore. Not that they were ever like bangs, but like they were shorter, and I wore them more like that. And I would use my Very Sexy because it's very stiff and it would like keep them there from like falling down in my face. So that's what I will use very sexy for. Um, but other than that, that's it. So all you're going to need for this hairstyle is your straightener because that's the technique I use. I, you guys, I don't know how to use a curling iron. I've never once curled my hair myself with a curling iron. Well, I've tried and it's failed. It's, um, it just doesn't stay. It, it falls out like in like even the first time I curl it up it like by the time I let the curling iron out it's flat so this is my hair um air dried um it kind of air dries like a lion's mane <laughs> so you could imagine what it dries like when I actually use my hair dryer it's even like bigger it's like more like this okay why am I doing this on camera this is embarrassing okay <laughs> and then the only other thing that you need besides those two things well you don't need them this is just what I use is your teaser because like I said we like the big hair big hair don't care yeah never been one to say that <laughs> if anything I'm like messy hair on top of my head never do anything with my hair don't care <laughs> what a loser okay <laughs> I probably shouldn't call myself a loser on camera but whatever um I section my hair I okay because I don't want this to be like a 50 hour long video because normally that's how long it takes me to do my hair I'm going to section my hair in just twice the lower half and then the top layer because normally I probably section it like five times because I'll start like with just this much hair and then I let more down and then this much hair and this much hair and this much hair and this much hair. I have a lot of hair um so it takes a while and so when I really want that big voluptuous full head of curls that's when I do a lot of sections but to just show you guys my techniques and how I curl my hair we're just going to do it in two. So I'm going to take my hair and section it in half. Oh my gosh, my cat just clawed the crap out of my leg. Okay, and so I probably picked the worst color background for this because my hair is blending right into it. So maybe halfway through this tutorial, you'll see my background just drop. And it's just a mirror behind me. So I pin that part up and then I just split it. Um, both sides that doesn't have to be even we're just curling it um, I'm gonna put some of my texture spray Ugh. make sure you hold your breath because <laughs> if you get in your mouth it really sucks and then um, I use the straightener this is the ISO professional one um, I got it for Christmas from my brother thanks baby broski and I Okay, so I am going to take, start with this baby strand because it's going to be a really cute curl. I take it like this, clasp it, and then I just twist it. As it gets to the end, I will bring it back in, hold it for a split second, and yeah, pause. I'm, I'm dropping this back. Okay, sorry about that. The 
like it was just too much. So you can see how tight this curl is, right? So we just do that all. And sometimes you guys, I will like, like this one, I'm gonna be curling towards my face, just twisting it all the way down the whole entire time. Don't want that fishtail. So once you get to the end, you just curl it back up. And let it out. And you get that curl. And then um, sometimes, like when I have time, and I'm really taking my time on my hair, I will take the time to remember to curl this piece away. And it's the same technique, just curling, twisting, all the way to the tip. Oops! Sorry, it's so weird looking at the camera while doing this. Normally it doesn't happen. The same, same idea. Hold it, let it down. I have a feeling this video is gonna be way too long. Um, but yeah, so that's what I do. The whole entire head of hair. So you can see how long this would take if I did like five sections right now. Um, I'm trying to do like big chunks and big sections and I feel like I need to push you guys away from me. Um, but you can see how much curl it is because you can see the difference in length that I just did. So, I mean, imagine this all around your whole entire head. You're going to have a lot of spunk. Um, but yeah, like towards my face, I take smaller sections. And um, really, I really like those tighter curls around the face because, I don't know, I just think they're cute. Okay. <laughs> so it's so funny because I... <laughs> Just tried to film a tutorial on how to do winged eyeliner, and I'm not even going to lie to you guys, it was a fail and a half. So I had this um, background up, which you guys, it's just a blanket, and midway through it just falls down, and I was like, <laughs> like it just looked so tacky. I was super like, all my angles were horrible, my lighting was horrible. I really need to film in the daytime, because right now it's nighttime, and um, I need to film in the day because I get a lot better lighting because the natural daylight helps a lot and just like the lights we have in here. I was like, oh my gosh. Anyways, it was just a disaster. So I was like, you know what? My makeup's done. Why not do a hair tutorial? Because that was also on the request list. So here we are with a hair tutorial and you know, I could have easily made this look like I just had my makeup put together. <laughs> But I didn't. I was I was filming and it was a fail. So what do you say? Act one, scene two. <laughs> Anyways, um, I went to lunch the other day with my friend, and um, I was like, oh my gosh, I love your earrings. <laughs> That's like we have the same exact one, the ones that I'm wearing. I wear these all the time, and she's like. Okay, I went to Charming Charlie's and I was trying to find a pair of similar to yours and I didn't even realize you got them from Charming Charlie's and I found them and I was like, oh my gosh, that makes me so happy because it makes me feel, makes me feel cool because I am not cool. I'm so weird. <laughs> um, okay, so then now that I have this curled and you guys, I'm just doing this quick for you because I don't want this video to be a million years long. I've sprayed that. Now, a lot of the bigness of your hair is going to come from the top layer, um, especially depending on how short your layers are cut. Like, I mean, you see my layers are really like, like that. <laughs> yeah, layers make noise. Oh my gosh. Just, I, don't, I don't know. So now we're going to take my texture spray. Again, didn't hold my breath. How did my cat... I didn't want to say anything, but I felt like my curls weren't curling, and that's because my cat escaped from our bathroom, which I don't know how she did that. I think Rex knows how to get out, and he opened the door for her. Next thing I know, she's playing with the cords and unplugged it, and I was like, oh, that's why you're not hot anymore. And I think they're about to escape again. I need to let Rex out and lock her up. Moving on. So the bangs, I don't want that tight spiral curl. It's going to be more of... Just that loose in front of your face curl, like, 
that. So I just bend it more like that. So it's more that kind of curl as opposed to those tight ringlets. And then the rest of the her, why am I saying her like I actually talk like that? Oh my gosh, why am I so weird? Question I ask myself every single day. Anyway. You can see the smoke coming off. Sometimes I'm just like, oh, hopefully my hair isn't like, and sometimes your hair just doesn't cooperate and it's gonna do this and you're like, hey, whatever, move on and then come back to it because if I try to go over and over it, over it again, I'll just get frustrated and wanna like rip my hair out. And the other day I was thinking about this, how many times I used to say, I hate my hair, oh my gosh. I just want to shave my head off. And then I think, like, how true is that really? Like, it's so not true. I never want to shave my head, uh, you know. And I was just thinking, like, like, I feel like God humbles me so fast sometimes with my words. Like, for girls that, you know, it, it happens and they, you know, bad things happen and cancer happens and you have to, like, shave your head or you lose your hair. And it's just like, hey, Lena, be thankful, like, for everything you have, like, yeah, your hair may take time and it may not cooperate, but do you really hate it? Do you really want to shave your head? No. So don't say things like that. And then, like, when I hate, I hate running, like, you know, because, why? Because it takes effort. It's a workout. But I'm like, okay, no, you don't hate running because you have two legs that work. And there are people who are paralyzed who would do anything to be able to run or walk even, you know, just, or just stand, my gosh. And anyways, that's just a personal thought I've just been thinking of how many things that like you complain about that's so dumb to complain about because it's like one why am I even complaining and what is this thing shining on my face like where's that even coming from I feel like there's a reflector and I don't know if you guys can see it or if it's just me it's like okay we're just gonna ignore that what I just did anyways Back to my deep discussion. Um, yeah, just being thankful for everything, um, big and small, you know, like, I, I don't know, you know, not I, I don't like to deep clean. I do it often, but it's, you know, it's a chore and it's like, ugh, don't want to deep clean again and all this kind of stuff, but it's like, okay. I'm just be thankful you have a home to deep clean, you know, you're not on the street, you're not cold, you have the choice of air or heat, you have the choice of cold water or warm water or hot water, you have the choice of filtered water, like, just so much, you know, I, I realize that, like, I might be saying sarcastic or even joking, and it's like, hey, it's not funny because it's like so quickly something could be taken away from you, you know? Um, so moving on, my hair is just so ratty looking right now. So I did air dry it, but I had it not wadded up in a bun, because if it was wadded up, it'd be even more lion mane like. Um, and. I just like take it up into a high ponytail and then twist, twist it all the way around and then put a rubber band in it so it's not really like a, um, I should have brushed my hair out because I just tangled that curl really bad. Like see I didn't even get the curl. And this is a really thick piece I did because I'm trying to hurry up. <laughs> this is such a fail. Maybe I won't post this video either. We're coming back to that piece and my, hold on. Okay, I needed to brush this out really fast. <laughs> I'm taking a much smaller piece so it'll actually curl. I think I'm having a hot flash right now because I got myself so worked up over something so small of what I was just talking about. <laughs> Hopefully you guys don't mind me just being real. <laughs> I was reading my Bible this morning, <laughs> and um, I was reading in 1 Corinthians, and I read chapter 3, and it was talking about how basically to live separated 
from the world and to basically stand out as Christians. Like, basically, there shouldn't be a question of, is she a Christian? Like, they, it should just be obvious um, is how I was taking it. I didn't say those words exactly. This is just me interpreting. And um, it was talking about, you know, when you die and get to heaven, basically what works you did on earth are going to be put through fire and it'll either burn up and you'll still be saved, but it said you'll enter into heaven like you just barely escaped a wall of fire. Or if you did what you're supposed to do on earth, then you receive a crown. And I was just like, oh my gosh, I need to like really separate myself. And I feel like that's where God's really been like, humbling me to be thankful and stop complaining about things that why am I even complaining about anyways but just really separating myself in in everything like <laughs> like on the road when I'm driving maybe I should separate my road rage <laughs> and um you know if someone cuts you off or is going slow maybe I shouldn't try to speed up and make it a point that they were aggravating me as I pass by like this like, that's really Christian-like, Elena. And you know what? I'm not even going to lie. I've definitely done that. So back to what I was saying, like, God's just been convicting me quickly in my re reactions to things that don't really matter. And um, it's a good conviction because when people, like, try to convict you, it's more how it comes across like they're judging you because they are. Um, and you don't want to change you like basically do the opposite and it's like um, Okay, I'm gonna like rebel which isn't good um, But when God does it, it's like in your heart and you just know it's like right when you speak it It's like convicted and you're like oh Sorry, God didn't mean to react that way. Okay, so back to the hair as you can see, I have curls, but they're not like super spunky. Again, if I would have done a lot more layers, the it would have been tighter curls and more curls, so my hair would be like out to here. Um, but we're still going to try to attempt to get that. And I'm just going to take this section, flip it over, take this section, and I'm going to tease my hair up this way, like that. Take this top half. And and tease it down. And then just lay that down. Don't worry, it, we will tame this. We're not gonna leave it like looking all like that. We're gonna leave it like that. No, I'm just kidding. And do the same thing on this side. And again, you guys, this is just what I do. Not saying I'm right, not even saying you should tease your hair because I know it's not good for you, for your, for you, for your hair. But, when you're not doing it every day, I feel like it's, you can make exceptions. Now, I flip my hair upside down like this and take my hairspray, just spray it and then like kind of do the scrunchy motion. Flip my hair back over so we have this crazy look going on. Don't worry, it will tame. I spray it and then I fix it to position where I want to get okay so you can either you know I'm I would definitely still be playing with my hair if I was getting ready but since this is a video I'm really trying not to uh, take 50 hours like I normally would um, you can either leave your hair down straight like this which is totally fine depends to me it kind of just depends on what look I'm going for like you know, am I wearing a dress? Am I wearing, am I going more casual? Like what, I don't know. It just depends on my mood and like my hair right now, I would definitely be clipping my sides back because right in here, I'm just like, it's not working out for me. So I have these large bobby pins. They're like this size. And I don't know if the camera's really gonna show that they're big, but I get them from, I found these from Target. Um, and then what I like to do is I just take, I just start by pulling my sides back like this. And then um, kind of smooth it together up here. That. Like 
And then I'll take my teaser to just kind of smooth those bumps out. I do like bumps. It's so funny because when I was younger and my mom still fixed my hair, I'd be like, she'd be like, hey, how do you want me to do your hair? And I'd be like, um, I want my hair in a ponytail, half up, half down with no bumps. And I'm like, oh Lord, give me the bumps. I need the bumps. And then I just clip my sides up to give my little poof, which I know people give me a hard time for as well, because they're like, oh, your poof is too high or whatever. And I'm like, I am not judging your flat hair or your lack of styling of hair, so don't judge mine, okay? Do what makes you happy. That's what I say. Or do whatever's gonna make you feel confident. But, you know, people just sometimes like to judge, and it's okay, because it's just, I'm gonna spray my bangs to keep them in place. This one is looks bent. But yeah, this is how I curled my hair. I took 20 minutes to do this. Normally, you guys, I guarantee I would take 40 minutes to do my hair, but I was trying to get it up quick and I feel like it wasn't even a tutorial. It was more like me ranting about things that probably you could have cared less about, but I hope that my techniques helped you learn how to curl your hair, maybe style your hair. Um, just anything, something. I hope you've learned something from this tutorial. Um, I hope you guys have a great Monday. I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you guys next time. I'm going to try to do a better winged eyeliner tutorial for you guys. So anyways, God bless and thanks for watching. Bye.